Hi, I'm Sakila, your fashion friend, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top winter essentials for 2024. If you saw my last fashion video, if you didn't watch the vlogs, maybe anyhow, if you saw my last fashion video, I did a winter try on haul, so I showed you all the bits that I picked up for winter, and I really want to condense this into the things that you need. Everything in that video you don't necessarily need, that was just the stuff that I wanted for my wardrobe, my style, the style that I am working towards the wardrobe that I'm building but this to me I think is what you need if you were into tomboy femme if you're into streetwear if you were just really not so much a minimalist not so much a clean girl not so much I don't want to say cookie cutter because that sounds rude but if you like a little color if you like a little silhouette you know what I'm saying if you like to pop out a little bit then I think this is the video for you. Before I get started, let me just go through what I have on my body just in case you have any questions. These glasses are from Shein. This happy and I got from a local drugstore. I think it's Body Brand Scoochie. This necklace is, both of these necklaces are Shein. This one I got at the thrift. All these rings on my fingers are from Shein. Earrings also from Shein. This hoodie is from Cotton On. And yeah, okay. So first thing I want to go through are the accessories. Because to me, accessories are what really elevate your outfit or what really make them unique because you can take a basic white tee and jeans, add all the accessories and it becomes your outfit. So we're going to go through hats. I love a hat. If you know me, you know I love a hat. I love a beanie. I love a bucket. I love a baseball cap. I love a hat. But because we're into time, I want to talk specifically about beanies and hats like that. So I have these three beanies right here. This one I got from Urban. Beanies isn't like this in any color. I personally like the really short ones. Like you can really, but I like the fisherman style beanie. I think that just gives a bit more of a street style than the traditional beanie. Um, so I like the really like small ones like this. This next one is in the style of the beanie that is of this current trend cycle that very like fitted, comes down, almost to your, cover your eyebrows type vibe. I got this one off of Shein. I really really like it very unique again this with a basic outfit has already elevated it 15 times you get what I'm saying like it's taken this from a 7 to a 12 in my opinion so I got this and then this last one I've been wearing since I got it this is from ASOS it's from collusion on ASOS I really love the colors in it I think this is just a really dope hat um, and it's literally one of my favorites I wear it so often and yeah so being as I think are really important and this hat I got is a fur hat. I got this off of Etsy. Really like this hat. I think it's really cool. Again, just makes your outfit that much cooler. And so next up we have eyewear. I really like this style of glass. I think this style of glass is really, really nice. But I also do have really wide frames. So these are three different pairs. All of my glasses I do get from Shein just because they're so inexpensive. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. If anybody knows, I think Zulu is another one. But I feel like they're all generally the same type of brand in terms of like the ethical anyway so i have these three pairs this is i already got this pair child i swear to god um i have this but i also have this one in a tortoise shell because i really like to have tortoise i like to have one and one style of the same glasses and then i have this frame this which also comes in black i had the black but they broke and i haven't reordered but this is like my favorite frame this square is just to die for but currently i've been loving these small ones i ordered this five pack on amazon these are prescription glasses. I didn't realize they were prescription when I bought them. Rectangle frame glasses like this. So it came in black, silver, I'm sorry, black, clear, red, tortoise shell, and then a black with a different type of arm. But I really love this style. Like I said, these are prescription, so I can't put these on because I will go blind. But this style of glasses really also does add to your outfit. I can't explain what a glass does to your fit, but baby, get you some glasses in whatever style you like. But again, if you're into the same style as me, which I assume you are because you have clicked on this video, then that style of glasses I think would really eat. And then last accessory I want to talk about is a scarf. It's a scarf. Y'all saw this scarf in my winter try on haul. This is from ASOS. But scarves? I know scarves are what people wear in the winter basically normally. I was not a scarf girl, but I am now converted. I will be wearing scarves for the rest of my life. Um, so if you've not gotten to scarves yet, please, I beg you to go buy one. Buy one from like your local, you know what I'm saying, little inexpensive shop that you could go to, the thrift store, whatever you could go to. Like, I don't know, Target at Walmart, Primark, all them places. I know Primark, will sell a scarf. Go get you a nice little inexpensive scarf, try it on, style it, see how you feel about it. You will fall in love. Get you some scarves. They are necessary for the winter time. 
next up we have tops i know there are winter things like turtlenecks and stuff like that but i think you can wear whatever the hell you want to wear in the summer when it comes to top strap as long as you are layering your clothes it really doesn't matter you can wear a little short little graphic tee put a tub something underneath it that's long sleeved or layer sweater hoodie on top and now you're meant to appropriate i don't i don't really follow the rules when it comes to tops but a few things that i do think you do need so everybody needs a basic white and a basic black i have this same shirt you can see that i ordered from asos a lot the both from me sold sectional asos the black one has seemed to have grown legs and walked the hell away i don't know where it is but i really love the fit of these tops i would love to get like some skims if i'm honest or maybe like my outfit online just a higher quality basic but i really do think that you do need some long sleeved basic tops whether it's like this you could get a long sleeve t-shirt like a boxy um you know oversized kind of style t-shirt i don't have any of this which really makes me angry but those would be nice long sleeve and short sleeve where there's all your run um i'll try to find some sources link some stuff down below but long sleeve short sleeve basic tops like this that you can layer are really important essential for your winter wardrobe and then we also have shirts blouses button-up tops i have this white one i got from the thrift store i like this fit this is definitely i don't know if this is a man or a woman's top but it's a slim fit and it fits really really well um but these you can lay your stuff on top vests sweaters cardigans jackets hoodies whatever you this these things are so versatile like every listen everything in your wardrobe i feel like you need to have pieces that you can literally put with every single thing that you own right like that's the basis of having a, a wardrobe is that you have pieces that i could take this top put it with this thing and this thing i like to take that same top put it with this thing and this thing and you're able to make outfits because oftentimes i feel like we just buy pieces for the sake of buying them because they're cute but not because we can actually make a lot of outfits with them so i just want to like guys let's please get things that we can put with other things that we already have in our wardrobe okay okay so yeah so i have this one um i have a couple more white tops but this is my favorite i really like how this fits flannels 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 i used to have a humongous flannel collection but when i moved back to Bermuda, i had to condense my wardrobe but this is one flannel that i kept because girl this thing is too good too gorgeous to pass up um but yeah so flannels are very important a nice layering piece you can wear this on its own you know it's a jacket it's a shirt it's, it's everything and then i also have this black one this is just a shirt which again you can wear on top of underneath of as its own piece um this one's from asos as well washed black very much a neutral something that can be worn with so many different things and i absolutely love these and then graphics oh my gosh how can i forget graphic tops i actually don't have a humongous graphic tee collection anymore like you guys know i really had like i was the graphic but this is my favorite one at the moment. This one I got from a thrift store when I was in New York. Graphic tees are important. This, I could layer this, that white top that I just showed you underneath it. And now I'm a little bit warmer. Then I could throw a jacket on top. And then you get your, and then a scarf as well. Like, and now I'm winter appropriate with a summer shirt. So I think graphic tees are essential for every single season. Like you can wear, graph if you're into the street wear, if you're into the, to the aesthetic that I'm into, um then you definitely need a graphic tee so now let's get into bottoms first bottom i think you definitely need to hear about some sweatpants white leg sweatpants cuffed at the ankle sweatpants whatever your style of sweatpant is i personally love a wide leg sweat like those to me just scream fashion they scream you got style you got drip you could dress babe so i have this pair that i got from boohoo man they're not my absolute favorite mainly because of the waistline um, cause it has this elastic inside of it, but if I cut the elastic out, babe, they ain't gonna fit, child. They're in a small, I got them from Boohoo Man many a year ago. They do have toggles on the bottom, but I never tie it to like, girl, we're wearing them, we're wearing them wide. But they fit so well, they have pockets on the side. They're kind of like a cargo pant, but a sweat pant. And I really, 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 really love this. Jaded London also does a really good wide leg pant that I really want to get my hands on, but I just have not bit the bullet and bought anything from Jaded London. But that is one shop that I think is like, everything on there is amazing. So, white leg pants, definitely need them. Next thing, cargoes. You already know, if you ain't got cargoes in your wardrobe, babe, I don't really know what you're doing. The girls love a cargo pant. It's me, I'm girls. So I have these two, both from ASOS. I need more cargo pants. I don't have enough in, in a variety of colors. I have black, I have this nice olive, what you call it, it's army-ish green color. And I think I need like a, like a chalk gray, a nice 
taupey brown or just a solid chocolate brown cargo pant like i don't have enough and i need more and i know jaded london also has some really good cargo pants but i have these two a, a solid black parachute pant and then these are more of a like like a solid weighted um cargo pant with the toggle um at the waist and along with cargo pants baby you need a cargo skirt i got these two this one i got from zara i probably have had this for like two years really love this love the wash and then this one i got from Bershka. yes from Bershka for your winter wardrobe a little bit of an elevated basic it's not just a straight black it's got some little unique details to it really like it it does have you can ruch up the sides if you want to give it some more texture really like this skirt and then trousers i love a pant i love a pant i'm still on the hunt for a nice flared pant that's like a trouser like a pinstripe or a solid but really pinstripe i have this per pinstripe pants right here I really really love how these fit the white leg I love the color I really want a black or gray <sighs> trouser low rise flared trouser I think would complete my life right now but these also you guessed it they're from ASOS ASOS is the one place that I know will not disappoint me when I shop so that's why I like to shop there and last thing I have for bottoms for you guys is some jeans white leg jeans i got these ones from pure little thing y'all saw them in the hole you need to get them in multiple washes please and thanks i have these i also have them in a wash black those ones in a hamper um i have a really dark wash vintage wash blue jean that i got from collusion on asos about two years ago that i've rinsed the hell out of um but a nice white leg straight leg oversized baggy jean you need yourself a white leg pant people are saying that white leg baggy clothes are going out of style the trend is going to die down it's a good thing i don't do it for the trend baby i do it because i like it this this style will not believe my wardrobe again you know and the thing that i let me can i just rant a little bit the one thing that i like about as you get older is realizing that it doesn't really matter what's in style it doesn't really matter what other people are wearing if you like a thing you're going to wear that thing like you know what i'm saying and I love a baggy clothes. I love a baggy pant. I love a sweat pant. I love a graphic tee. I love all of these things. So regardless of whether or not they're in style. Baby, if you want to wear skinny jeans, you can wear skinny jeans. It's 2024. If you want to wear Chinese slippers, baby, you can wear Chinese slippers. If you want to wear moccasins, baby, you can wear moccasins. Like, you don't have to put yourself in a box. I just want to say that. So, white leg jeans are going to be in forever for me. Last thing I have to show you guys are outerwear pieces. You need to have a hoodie. I prefer a zip up to a to an over the head hoodie. And my favorite hoodie at the moment, and I've had it for so long now. I've had it for like a year now and I absolutely, absolutely love it. It's this hoodie right here. I got her from Veil. Veil is my favorite brand in the world. Like, nobody can tell me anything about Veil, babe. Absolutely love her. So it's this black wash black with this nice brown y'all could tell that this is like my favorite color ever right yeah but this is really cool it's got silver details artwork got this i think in a large yeah i don't know if they sell this hoodie anymore um veil is the type of store that like they put together collections once they sell out you don't really get another chance to buy them unless they bring them back for like one last try or one last you know one last opportunity type thing um so I have this hoodie that I got from there. And then also what you really need are uh, some very staple jackets that you can wear with everything that just really complete your outfit. I got this one from Zara. It was the viral. I wasn't going to get it at first because I'm like everybody has this jacket but I understand why everybody has this jacket. It's the viral Zara Aviator um, jacket. This jacket honestly, I don't know if it's still on that website. If it is, get you one. I think it also might come in black. Get you one. It is such a good jacket. And it goes really well with everything and it really does just make that outfit look that much better. It gives you a vintage feel. It's winter time. You can layer things underneath it. Like, I know it's crop, but that doesn't really matter. Like, you can put whatever you want. Like, I just, I love this. And then the last jacket I want to show you, I just want to brag a little bit because I love this jacket so much. It's this one. Same color. Got this from the thrift store. And it's so funny because it still smells like the thrift time I had it for like two years. I got this when I was still in uni. And I don't think I ever got a chance to show you like this when I was still in England because I hadn't been posting fashion content. But this is like my 
prized possession. It's the most gorgeous coat. If you can't visit a thrift store, babe, visit a thrift store in your area and see what you can find because the thrift has all of the jams. Okay? Depop, Vinted. Try to find stuff second hand. Um, I will link websites somewhere that you can purchase things from, but try to go to your local thrift store. You can find trousers. You can find um, button-ups especially. You can find that they thrift graphic tees. You can find that they thrift hats, beaners, things like that. I'm sure you can find that they thrift. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you can find at thrift stores, but you just have to take the time and patience to go ahead and try it. I also didn't talk about shoes. Now, I don't think I really need to tell you about shoes, babe, but like, get you a combat boot, get you a loafer, and I think you're good to go for the winter time. If you have a combat boot and a loafer, maybe a knee-high boot would be also be nice, and then something that's pointed to it. Something with a nice little point at the mm -mm. those will eat down too. I really love I have this one pair from Steve Madden that I think are so gorgeous. They have um silver buckle detail in over them. Just a nice again, it's the elevated basic to me. Like it's a black shoe, but it has details. Sorry, it has details on it, so it really adds some really nice character to your outfit. Some really uniqueness to your outfit. And I think that's what it's all about, man. It's about finding those basics. That have just a little bit of a different vibe to them, but not so much that you can't wear it a lot. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I could wear that shoe every single day of the week, and who really gives a f Like, you know what I'm saying? Who curse? Because it's not like so unique that it's like, girl, why are you wearing the same thing every single day? No. It's still subtle, streamlined, it still eats down, but it's just a little bit elevated. And I think, again, that that's what I want to reiterate to you guys. When it comes to building your closet essentials, whether that's winter, summer, spring, fall, whatever the season is, overall, generally speaking, you want to find things that you can wear a lot, but that also are unique to you so that it feels like your outfit and not that you're just putting on something that looks like every other person that's out there. That's just my two cents. That's my two cents, and these are my winter closet essentials. I can't wait to style a lot of this stuff. I don't really get to get dressed like I used to because, like, I'm not a uni student. I have a 9 to 5. I work five days a week, like, you know? So I really do want to do some styling for you guys and just get back into my creative juices when it comes to this fashion thing, girl, because I really haven't had a chance to tap into this as much as I would like to in the last year. And that's why I haven't been posting anything because I just don't. I just, I've been working, like I don't go anywhere, I go to work and I come home, like, you know, and the most I do is go to the studio, and I'm not dressing up to go hang out and make music, you know what I'm saying, so anyhow, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was helpful, I hope it was a little bit insightful, a little bit educational, you know what I'm saying, it gave you some inspiration on what you need to get for your winter wardrobe, and let me know if I missed anything that you would add in your winter wardrobe, what is something that you would have in your wardrobe that I didn't list in this video, and I will see you in the next one, peace out girl Scott, check you later. <laughs>